I'm uh, G or Gord. Tamara from Vegas Best Ideas. <laughs> Do you remember your first trip to Vegas? 2008. Yeah, my first trip together. Yeah. yeah. Um, but what was your first trip? My first trip was probably around 1999 uh, with my parents and my sister. Um, and then I went one more time after that. Uh, but then I took Gord for the first time in 2008. He had never been before. And once I was here, I was hooked. Yeah. Like instantly. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. There was so much energy here, so much cool things to do. She took me to a Linkin Park concert at the old uh, um, the joint, joint the in Hard Rock. Hard Rock. The original joint, the original not joint. the bigger so joint. The there was like a really smaller small version. One. Yeah. Huh? Um, I think it's actually where the one theater is now, the Magic Mike Theater, or maybe mm, not. No, I don't no. Think so. Okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, it was a very small venue. It was yeah. very cool. Saw Lincoln Park there. Probably yeah. maybe a hundred people, maybe we hundred twenty people row there. On the floor. Second row. Awesome. Just such a cool experience. <laughs> you yeah. like usually back home if we would go to a concert, it's in our like local sports arena. So there's you know. 20, 15,000 yeah. to 20,000 people, people there, right? Yeah. So this was nice and cool and very intimate. So yeah. that was awesome. Yeah. Nice. And um, just the options here. I mean, that one time we came here, we got to see two uh, rappers. T uh, a lot of people that we wouldn't see normally, yeah. even that would come to our like cities, you know. <laughs> yeah, because we're from Canada and a lot of them don't come they to don't all come up the there, cities, right. you know. So, so, so you guys are hip-hop fans? Oh, we're, we're, we're like hip-hop. <laughs> we're, we're, we're pretty eclectic. Oh, yeah, we, we love like. There's no country. Um, yeah, techno. No, we're into rock. No, no country at all? We're no, not country, no country fans, okay. yeah. <laughs> Which is surprising because yeah. there's a lot of country fans yeah. up in Canada. EDM yeah. techno is like our favorite. Yep. Top 40, you know, R&B, yep. a little never, bit of rap. I would never expect EDM techno. Yeah, that's yeah. our favorite. <laughs> yeah. So, have you guys been to EDC? No, no but I'd we'd love, love to. Go to. Have yeah. been to I've been there once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was it was amazing. Well, I was drunk the whole time, but <laughs> yeah. So, what is when you your first trip here when you're together and or when you fell in love with the city? What would you say the feeling? What was the feeling like? What, how would you explain it? The feeling was like to me like in a lot of places that I went and traveled. When I was done at the end of the trip, I'm like. Well, that was cool. That's great. I want to go back home now. Right. When we leave here, it's like... We do not we, want to leave. We don't want to leave, and we feel like, when can we come back here again? We actually have booked so many trips while we're still yeah. in Vegas <laughs> for the next time. Yeah. And we actually really start to get um, depressed or down exactly. our last few nights here. Because we know we have to leave. <laughs> like, it's it's that uh, affecting of, yeah, on so us. Yeah, so we've... we've We've grown to love the city so much that yeah. it affects our mood when we leave. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I don't, I, I mean, we've, we've traveled lots of other places and we've yeah. never felt that way anywhere never, else. Even I'm close. not sure why. And but, yeah, like, well, I should say I'm not sure why. Well, we know, well, yeah, we know why we, we love it here, 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 but yeah. Like, well, I'm just not <laughs> sure why we didn't get that feeling from any other city. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, we've been city. to <laughs> Disneyland, we've been to Florida, or I've been to Florida, yeah, we've been to all kinds of different places. And nothing gives yeah. us that feeling like here. Yeah. Silly, but when we first came here, um, the a lot of the free options that are kind of going away were so cool. Like, she took me to all kind of the, the cool free shows, like the free show that they had in Caesars the, Palace. I think that's kind of um, toned down a bit. The, the Pirates, uh, uh, the Treasure yes, Island. Yes, Treasure yeah. Island is still here. <laughs> yeah. I got to see the full show when it was still here. Yeah. I mean, that was really cool. Um I don't think they had that Merlin thing at uh, Excalibur or so when I came. Yeah, I can't I don't remember. think so, but the there fountains, used to be obviously. at the Rio, too. Like, lots of different little things. Yeah, yeah. The, the fountain show here and um, the Mirage, Volcano, all that kind of stuff was so cool because, I mean, it's like a free little show, but yeah. we would never see that caliber no. of show <laughs> in any other city, like, as a free exactly. option. So, to me, that was just amazing. Like, I didn't even know that existed. We're in a unique situation where we both work from home, so we have that option to go back and self-quarantine. Not many people are, so that's no. one of the biggest reasons that a lot of people don't travel here from Canada, is that they can't go back and do, after, say, a week trip, another 14, 14 days of quarantine, quarantine and not go yeah. back to work. That's a lot of lost income, mm -hmm. or you could be going back to vulnerable people in your family, your yeah. mother or father, mm -hmm. if they're older and they have health conditions. 
you could be affecting them. We're not in that situation, so it's unique. Yeah, we're we're very and grateful. We're that still we're, being yeah. cautious and taking yes, for sure. You know, a good amount of the safety precautions you need to take here within reason. I mean, we talked about this before. Um, we're wearing those masks, but when it's forty-five degrees outside <laughs> yeah. and that sun's beating down and yeah. you and you're blowing hot air back <laughs> into yourself all the time. It's, you're taking it's it down for a minute, or, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, you know, we'll all take a selfie or whatever, and, you know, we usually keep our masks on, but the one time we don't, it's like, People will everybody's judge you, like, you know? where's your mask? Yeah. People are going to judge you for everything. <laughs> yeah. you, you got to live your life. <laughs> exactly. Um, for you. And even if a content um, brings a little smile to your face back home, if you're not comfortable with coming here, that's worth it to us. I mean, yeah, that means, that means a million bucks say, to us. Yeah so nice to see you know thank you for doing this yeah, or whatever just because reminds me of vegas yep. it's nice to feel like i'm kind of there yep. you know <laughs> yeah. so whose idea was it to start a youtube channel uh, i think it was more mine because uh, i had started first um our instagram account that was the first thing i started and then behind the scenes i'd always been working on our website because um, the thing is, we came to Vegas so often that people would always ask us, yeah, exactly. where should we go to stay at? Where should we eat? You know, what should we do when we're there? You know, so they'd always be asking us, you know, what to do or whatever. So I thought, okay, we get asked this way too much. Like, we got to just start, like, putting it out there or whatever and have some kind of site or whatever. So I started working on the website and I had the Instagram account. And then we had some friends that we met that had a YouTube channel. And they're like, kept saying, oh, you guys should start a YouTube channel too, you know, and we're like, ah, I don't know. And we haven't really taken a lot of video footage of our previous trips. We always took lots of pictures. I'm a picture girl since I was young, so I've been taking pictures my whole life, but um, never always a lot of videos. But then we just thought, okay, well, we'll try it. And so, yeah, we started it, yeah, just over a year ago. And we just hit a thousand right before we came on this trip, so we were kind of excited. Pretty big milestone for us, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so how excited and, were you guys? Oh, uh, super excited. Pretty excited, yeah. yeah like, <laughs> when yeah, you're getting close, especially when we were coming, like yeah. we we knew we'd be celebrating in Vegas too, so that was yeah. kind of cool. You know, we had that trip already booked, and, and stuff. I mean, to, to us, it's a big deal. I know there's a lot of bigger channels that they're probably not a big oh, deal. Oh yeah, them, it's like for us, it was a big milestone. Yeah, um, it's like once you, know, you hit that thousand, it's kind of like okay. <laughs> you, YouTube changed the rules yeah, a while ago you, know, you were probably your, maybe your channel was probably out there yeah. well before yeah. these rules changed but. yeah well it was- I was about to hit the to get monetized. I was yeah. like, like days away from getting monetized, yeah. monetized, and then they're like new rules. I'm like, well, gotta wait another year. <laughs> <laughs> so, that sucks. Yeah, yeah, I know. So thankfully, yeah, we uh, we actually got monetized within the same yeah. day, and <laughs> yeah, we. Um, but yeah. you know, I think it's, the big thing is, uh, you know, I think unless your channel grows to so like you know you have a million subscribers or you know four hundred thousand subscribers. I don't think you're necessarily going to be able to quit your job or anything oh, like no, that. Oh, no, we never... And that, and that wasn't really ever... And it's case. always meant to be a, maybe a supplement, you know, yeah. or like a little help on the side. To say, you know, yeah. to, to for us to continue coming here and yeah, continue to do this, exactly. right? Uh, you know, if you, if well, you get a little... We're still going to come no well, matter what. It's, it doesn't matter if no, we make I'm, I'm not, not a dollar. No, I'm not saying that, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, we might as well be, we might as well be recording the stuff yeah. that we're doing anyways and putting it out there for everyone. Yeah. And if you get a little something for that, exactly. that's great. I'll go into the to you know producing content for the next trip yeah. or you know expenses or whatever so yeah as far as goals i don't know just keep growing i guess and see where it takes us and we're not trying to focus so much on the like yeah money part of it or number of followers it was more like getting to a thousand of course was a big goal but anything after that I think, is kind of yeah, a bonus i think you want to see at yeah. least your channel growing some so yeah, you know that exactly. people are still interested in and, and you know want to see it but yeah but you know youtube algorithm is weird too for what else you never know what, right what people yeah. will see or or, or exactly. figure out because like i said a couple of videos that you know, like we, well, one of the videos we did on on the liquor store was just yeah. kind of was like, let's go do this, okay, whatever, and it turned out it's to be one of our one most of our popular top ones, three right? videos, you or know? or yeah. a video we took at a at a hotel that we weren't we really happy with like. our stay on. Yeah. That one's like blowing up. We're like, yeah. what? That doesn't make sense, right? So you said you consider or thinking about maybe moving to Vegas. Yeah, we our our eventual goal is to live here at least for the winters. So. And I'll, um, the winters in Canada are like six months of the year. So even if we were to live here 
three or four of those months would be awesome. Yeah, sometimes um, our winters start at the end of September. Yeah. And they don't and go end to like until, you know, mid oh, May wow. sometimes. So. Um, so that's a long time to be in cold weather and, yeah. and that And miserable. the older you get, the more your body just doesn't like cold yeah. weather, you know. So that's why you see or hear about a lot of snowbirds from Canada. We call but, them snowbirds when you move for just the winter. But it's always been difficult for us to get like full status down here unless we were in some sort of occupation like medical yeah, or something like to where, move they, full where time. they actually right. We would move tomorrow if we could full time. They need but people, but <laughs> no, that's so good. so if you guys were to move to Vegas, what area of the city would you move to? We would say Henderson. Henderson. <laughs> yeah. Um Summerland's nice. I just find it's kind of far removed from the yeah, rest of the core of the city. Um, it seems not as easy to get to and from places from yeah. there for, for some reason. I don't know if it's actually that's what it is no. or it just feels like that to It us. feels like that to us yeah. because, I mean, like I said, we're going off the strip a lot, mm -hmm. but, you know, the focus of some things is on the strip, right? So we still want to be somewhat close to it, whether it's we're going to take in a show or a movie or something over here. A lot of the places we know are off strip, but they're not necessarily that far no. off strip. Like we go a lot to um, Eastern because there's yeah. tons of restaurants down there. Um, even St. Earl's Parkway a lot. We go, you know, down that area in Green Valley and, you know, kind of that whole area. Yeah, of, and we um, find Henderson like Moore. Henderson's like, you know, 10 or 15 minutes out, off of some of the areas we're going to already, where Summerlin's like, you know, 20 minutes, half hour to get yeah, out there. So, um, I don't know. We, we, we it's, like it's not that it I don't too. like yeah, the area. Just, that's it's just we we find Henderson more, to be more convenient, feels more, uh, more I think, our style. Yeah, I guess and it feels more to where we're from. Yeah, I would say. yeah, it's more <laughs> yeah. relative to the type of city. That I guess we're community. At. Yeah, our community. I was gonna say. I know the conversation you started with was like, how does an out of town vlogger compared to like uh, right. a local vlogger? Right. Um, I think we're all trying to capture the same thing, right? You're trying to capture memories and experiences, right? Same for us. Right. Um, for you, living here and working here, maybe some of that um, excite, excitement or flair, I guess, gets, I wouldn't say it's not still there, but it kind of like, you know, it's not as big deal to you. Whereas right. us, it's like huge because we just don't have that back home. Um, so like for you, like it's like, um, oh, I'd like to go film on Fremont. Oh, but I can do that next week. Or the <laughs> yeah. After, after. Or like, like, okay, we have limited time here. If we don't do this now, yeah, we're not going to get to gonna, do it till exactly, like, for like three months or, three or months. Like four months. So, yeah. I mean, it comes from that, but I think the biggest thing for us is like, we're going back and thinking back to our trips from like <coughs> 10 years ago and we're thinking to ourselves, wow, if we could have recorded though that, that experience or, or what happened, like that would have been great as a memory for us to remember what happened on that trip. Mm -hmm. When we're back home, when we've got time off, it's like, well, what can we do the next time we go to Vegas? We might find something new or, or whatnot. Or, you know, she'll spend hours just like researching or reading stuff or whatever and, and figuring out like where to go next. But yeah. I, I think, <laughs> like she said, the big thing for us is to share that there's other things. And like she said, the mm -hmm. biggest compliment to somebody saying, wow, I didn't know I that didn't existed know that, or, or that that was yeah. there or whatever. <laughs> that's yeah. how beautiful. I've like, never heard about I, that. I think I saw even going up to Mount Charleston the other day, like people know that it's there and they've heard of it. But to actually yeah, see it through know. somebody you're following, it's like, oh, wow, like right. I didn't know, you know. Mm -hmm people that we've met from even back home they'll come here and they'll have like a two or three thousand dollar trip like over four days and they've blown all their money on this trip and they're like i've done vegas i don't need to go back yeah um <laughs> it's like, we're not, Ooh, okay. we well, don't do that and yeah. i mean to explain to people you guys are going to vegas again and vegas again and vegas again but we don't do it the same yeah, way they do but so they have it in their mind that, that that's, that's what that's vegas how much is, money we're blowing you know, every yeah. night like, oh, no, no, like, no. <laughs> that's not what we're doing so we can um, stay here for 17 nights and <laughs> yeah, yeah you know a thousand a night yeah <laughs> exactly. i don't want to say we're like super cheap or anything but like no, but we you know, like to we, we don't figure we, out the deal we don't need to have so. like a, a 110 you know dollar steak meal or 150 dollar yeah. steak meal each each night yeah you know we're, and if that's what you like to do, that's cool, but yeah, that's just not, that's not our style. Yeah. Um, we'll do maybe something like that every once in a while, but yeah. I mean, most days, like, We're eating fast our, is food or our budget like... probably together is well under 100 bucks, sometimes oh, yeah. even under 50 bucks because. For the whole day? Yeah, yeah. for the whole day. Oh, wow. The other night, it was, uh, what did I say? It was 25 or something yep. for both of us. Yeah. Have so. you guys been to uh, Four Kegs? No, no, never heard no, no. So it was, on, it was it was on a TV show. Oh, okay, cool, it, yeah. It was like, a dive bars or whatever it's called, oh, okay, truck yeah. stops or whatever. Yeah. 
Uh, it's off of, uh, I think, Jones. Okay. You, um, but, I have a huge list. Um, but that Jones and Rainbow area, man, there's like restaurants galore up there. Yeah. 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 And Eastern, like. Yeah. We find it. We find it a little bit tough sometimes to find those businesses up there because. They'll have those um, strip mall areas, but they'll have like, yeah. a business or two in front, and you can't see all the stuff right. that's behind it. And yeah. everybody's going like just firing down those roads, and yeah, it's like you got to know place. exactly we where you're going. The other day was Egg Sammy yep. on Rainbow, but it was so hard to find because yeah, it was yep. just on the corner, kind of. And we we're like, oh, we just yeah. drove by that. Uh, uh, Four Case is good. They're known for their, I want to say the Stromboli's. Oh, okay. Cool. They buy you get a burger, yeah. but then yeah. but after midnight the pizza's half off. Oh, cool. So it's oh, like cool. yeah, so. yeah, we love like yeah, deals we, or stuff like we'll that. We'll do that know? stuff too. Like we'll yeah. go like you know at four and get the deal before before like, six. The or happy hours. We'll go like, uh, eat we later love, at night, nine um, till midnight or whatever yeah. the happy hour deal is. Golden Tiki is one of our yeah. favorite bars in Chinatown, huh. and they have yeah. an awesome happy hour from yeah. like four to seven, I think it is. We've gone there and, with quite a yeah. few people, and yeah. friends of ours. Yeah. And another one that's really good is at the Stratosphere, the top of the, um, uh, it's called, I think, 107. Um, yeah, it's just yeah. above or below the top of the world restaurant. But you can get up there for free and everything's like half price. All the drinks and um, the food is yeah, really for good. Yeah, during their happy hour. Yep. Is there anything you guys want to add or say or plug? <laughs> I don't know. Besides, like, subscribe yeah, to your like, channel. I feel like we just had a, a, a like a what forty minute conversation with Ted here about <laughs> yeah. our entire life. <laughs> Sixty <laughs> minutes with Ted. <laughs>